Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 27th of May 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, raise your consciousness, step out onto that spiritual path, come out of that spiritual closet, find out what you were truly here meant to do as you take the steps and find clarity on your journey so that you can take charge of your destiny to fill your purpose in this lifetime. Now this week we're using the Dragon Oracle cards by Diana Cooper. And as always before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services, so thank you so so much. And with that in mind, you know, if you do um, feel you need some guidance or help, then please feel free to reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 minute video call to see where you are, where you want to go and whether I can help you. And of course, do check out my Future Life Aggression Practitioners Training that I'm running on the 19th, 20th and 21st of July. Whether you've got an existing uh, holistic business, you want to start a new business or you just want to do this for yourself and learn how to take people backwards and forwards in time, even yourself backwards and forwards in time, then do be aware that the early bird offer price is finishing around about the 14th of June. So you've only got a couple more weeks to get it at that discounted price before it goes back up to the original price. So as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week commencing the 27th of May 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week commencing the 27th of May 2024. Okay, so let's see what cards want to come out for you this week. Let's see. Okay. So the cards we've got are Golden Christed Dragon brings you high love so you can embody the Christ light. Absorb the Christ light, you are protected, expand your heart and remain fifth dimensional. Kuan Yin's Pink Dragon brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. See all your cords dissolved by transcendent love. Enjoy your freedom, look for the divine around you. I just love the colours on that. An earth and water dragon creates the foundation of new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. Okay, so what the cards are saying to me this week is that this is a week to expand your heart, you know, to bring out that unconditional love within you, um, not just for yourself, but for others all around you. But when you start to um, raise your consciousness and radiate your heart, your love, your light, it really does have an effect on those around you and it starts lighting and lifting them up. And they then start expanding their heart, their love, their light, which goes on to others. So you become this catalyst of creating this beautiful energy um, of nurturing um, golden light and unconditional love that expands outwards. And you can be the catalyst for this. You, you know, all, all you need to do is just connect within, go within your heart, connect to the divine, to source, to God, to whoever, you know, is, is the highest possibility to the universe and just allow that beautiful golden light energy to come into you and radiate from your heart, radiate through your whole body going out into the world. And this week, you're also being invited to resolve issues in relationships with other people, whether that's past, present, future, other lifetimes, etc. This is a week to, uh, um, you know, dissolve those ties, those cords that are holding you back and holding back others. This is a time to look at all your relationships. Look at them through your heart and see how, how they can move forward. You know, this is time for forgiveness, for um, connecting, for, you know, bringing back that, that unity, that, that unconditional love. And you've got a chance to do this this week. You know, again, you can be that catalyst 
for family dynamics, for relationships, um, you know, for friendships, you know, what's that crossword that stops you talking to someone? Is it really that important now? You know, this is a time to reach out, resolve those issues. And if you're doing it from your heart with unconditional love and with the um, golden Christ-like energy, consciousness, then the amazing things will happen and you can resolve those issues and bring peace and harmony into your life and into the life of others around you. And know that there there is a fresh start coming. There are new opportunities. You know, so when you start resolving those relationship issues um, with yourself or with others, then that starts bringing in new opportunities and new growth for you and for everyone else involved. And as said, for them and other people. And so it and so it goes on. So take those ideas this week. Take those thoughts. What is it you want into your life? Bring them into reality. Set wills in motion. You know, bring these to light and be grateful for what you for what you've already got. You know, there is abundance in your life already. So to make the most of what you have got in you in your life. And one of the things you've got is you've got a heart and that heart is and can be unconditional love. And that is your gift this week. This is where the abundance lies and this is what you can use to create abundance and balance in not just your life, but in those lives around you. And that's really all the cards that are saying to me this week. As always, I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. And it may be that you get a completely different message and that's absolutely fine. So please do let me know in the comments whether these resonated, whether you got your own message, whether one card stood out uh, more than others and I'll reply to you or even message me privately as I know some of you don't like to uh, comment publicly. And as you know, I always reply when you uh, contact me privately. So the cards again are the Golden Christed Dragon brings you high love so that you can embody the Christ light Absorb the Christ light. You are protected. Expand your heart and remain fifth dimensional. So expand your heart and your love this week, that golden energy, and send it out and see how many people, how many things you can touch with that. And watch the smile come to their face as they light up. Kuan Yin's pink dragon brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. See all your cords dissolved by transcendent love. Enjoy your freedom. Look for the divine around you. Resolve those relationship issues with yourself and with others. That can set you free and set others free, others free as well. An earth and water dragon creates, creates a foundation for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. Harvest the abundance in your heart. And when you send out that unconditional love and resolve issues with uh, in your relationships and with others, that's when abundance and amazing things really start coming in. And those new opportunities are very obvious to you. So with that said, I hope you have a wonderful week. Don't forget to check out the Future Life Regression Practitioners Training. As I said, if you want to get the early bird offer, you've only got till about the 14th of June to get that and don't forget to watch my show Angels and Destiny which if you're watching this on Sunday is taking place Monday the 27th and if you're watching this Monday the 27th then it's taking place this evening at 8 p.m UK time and if you're watching later in the week watch the replay. The guest I was going to have has um, had to uh, cancel for the moment um, so I'm looking around for new guests so it may be it may be a guest it may be me who knows? So this Monday, the 27th, is going to be a surprise for all of us. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether I do have a guest or whether it's just me. And if it's just me, give me an idea of what you'd want me to talk about to wisdom to share with you. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Take care and I'll speak to you next week. Bye.